Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stats All Day with Dr. O'Day. Today we're going to be covering how to make a bar graph in Excel with standard error bars in APA format. So I just ran a factorial ANOVA with my two variables, gender and condition in my study, predicting safety compliance with regard to COVID-19. Now, I want to create a graph that accurately depicts the effects of gender and condition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to exploration because I need to find the means and the standard deviations that are being compared here. So I'm going to click descriptives and what I'm going to do is put gender and condition into the split by box and I'm going to put my dependent variable of um, sorry safety and compliance in the variable as well as panic I'm going to go ahead and do this for that as well while I'm doing this so now I'm going to uncheck the in and the missing and really what I need for this is my mean and my standard error of the mean so that I can add in some standard error bars so I'm going to go ahead now and transfer over into Excel and so what I need to do here is because I've got a two by three between groups design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do men and women. And then across the top, I'm going to do my three conditions, which were the neutral condition, the self condition, and the family condition. So then all I need to do is I need to copy over the means for each of these conditions. So for men, we had 7.22 on the neutral, we had 6.55 on the self condition, and we had 7.80 in the family condition. For women, it was 7.72, 7.54, and 7.90. So now I have all the data here. Now I just need to select all of this, go to insert, and I'm going to ask for a bar graph. So now I'm going to get rid of the grid lines because it is not APA format to have grid lines. Again, all I had to do was I just click onto one of the grid lines and hit the delete key. So that gets rid of that. I also don't need the chart title because I'm going to have a figure caption in under my figure. So I hit the delete key there. The next thing I want to do is we, we never want to zoom in or zoom out on our effects. We want to display these exactly how they were measured when this study was actually conducted. And these were on 1 to 9 scales, so I'm just going to put that scale on a 1 to 9 scale so that they can accurately see that as it was measured. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to add standard error bars. To add standard error bars, what we need to do is we need to just type men and women here off to the side and I'm just going to notate this so that I know what the heck these values are so I'm going to write standard error so then all I need to do is in the same order as I did over here I need to then write the standard error of the mean which I'm getting right here so I'm going to just type those in so I have 0 0.37, 0 0.40, 0 0.31 0.22, 0 0.20, 0 0.25. So now those are all of the standard errors for those conditions. I can go ahead and copy these over just so I can be certain that these are, you know, that I have this all recorded in case I have to come back to this in the future. So now I'm going to click into my chart and I'm going to click chart design, add chart element, and I'm going to ask for error bars. I always just click more error bar options here. And I'm going to say add error bars based on series men. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I can come over here and hit this option here. And I go to custom error bars. Now I want to specify the value for those error bars. And this is where it gets slightly tricky, but it's not too bad. What we do is here for the positive, I select those. So that's saying that it's going to give me an error of each of those for each of the respective three bars above that mean. And then I come down here, I just select all of that and then replace it by selecting all of those. 
So it's putting the exact same amount of standard error above and below those bars. And you can see that shrinks and gives it the respective error bars. So now I'm going to click back out here, add chart element again, add error bars, more error bar options. I'm going to click that I want those for women now. I come back to custom. I specify the values. This time I select the three for women. I select the negative error value, select the women again, and then click OK. And now I have my APA format chart aside from the font being not APA format. So I come here, type this as Times New Roman, 12 point font, and now I have my APA format table. I can copy that in. I can change the colors if I want here. One of the things that sometimes I do is I offset the legend to the right. I think it makes the chart look a little bit better. But now we can see the small difference in the neutral condition, the larger difference between men and women in the self, and then the no difference in the family condition in my particular study. That's all I have today. If you'd like to see another guide on APA format or any other videos, please let me know. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day.